So you might be in charge of booking your company's conference, summit, expo, or your upcoming gala. And there's a new hotel in town that you just can't wait to book. And you know you're going to impress your boss and your colleagues when they walk in and see this incredible space where people are going to come together to learn and have fun. Here's a few tips and tricks to keep in mind regarding your production before you sign on the dotted line. First thing to consider is in-house AV versus a production company. When you're working with an in-house AV company, make sure you know what you're getting. We've all been a guest at an event where you can't see the stage or the screen. Maybe the speaker on stage is muffled and you can't really hear well from your seat. This is something that you can easily avoid by going in prepared. Keep in mind as well, most hotels are going to receive commissions when you book with their in-house AV company. Then they sell it to you as if you're getting a discount. You're not. You're paying for it somewhere. Go beyond the AV. There are agencies like Utopia that will help you think differently about your experience, that will help you with planning and coordinating with your keynote speakers, designing your assets, travel with you as you move venues and cities, that will help produce video content before, during, and after your events. And of course, all of this means that you're creating a relationship with a company that cares about you and your mission. So I'd encourage you and invite you to do that. Find a company that you can build a meaningful partnership with. Last but not least, let's talk about fees. Some of the fees you might be paying for that are baked into your contract might be an internet fee, which provides you use to their wireless internet for the day, or maybe an outside production company charge if you decide to bring an agency in with you. Here are a few things to keep in mind. You hold the leverage when negotiating with a hotel, and there's always room for negotiation, but only before you sign your contract. So you might want to consider asking for a couple of these concessions. And I always like to pre-frame this or go in with leverage saying that, hey, I have 10 to 15 other hotels that I'm considering for this conference. If we were to move forward, I'd love to invite you to consider whatever the concession is that you're asking for. In this case, you may want to ask them to reduce your F&B minimum, reduce your room block rate by 10% per night, upgrade your bar package to a nicer liquor, maybe a special champagne toast for 10 tables. Or you might want to ask them to waive the $500 charge for an outside production company or waive the $1,000 internet fee. Unconsciously, the more things your hotel vendor says no to, the more obligated they feel to say yes to something. And then you have the leverage to say, listen, you said no to all these things over here. If we're going to make this work, you have to say yes to this. Well, I hope that was helpful. Happy event planning.